My new product, Awaken, the female energy will be released for 50%. I want you to know, I'm probably the most introverted person in this room, but you would never know it. Because what looks to you like an outside living, I'm not. I'm an inside liver. I live here, and I don't think there's anything that happens on the outside that has any, any uh, significance to me, any more than what's happening on the inside. I'm, very, I'm an incredible communicator, but I'm introverted. My attention <coughs> is on my problems 99% of the time and getting rid of whatever is inside of me that makes me resist life or takes me out of present time. I worry about the future or I think about the past or I get nervous I'm about to talk to somebody or what am I going to say or whatever. All that that, you, that I just said <coughs> is about 99.9% .9 of my process all the time. So if I'm going to approach a woman <coughs> to you, <coughs> it looks like I'm approaching a woman. To me, it's me overcoming my insecurities. I'm only approaching her to overcome my insecurities. That's, that's what's happening. She's now going to help me cleanse this inside of me. And that's what this moment is. So my energy is different. She's there to help me become stronger. No matter what happens, she's second to first my internal process. Why? Because I'm an introvert. Okay? If I was extrovert, it would be all about her. I'm not about her. She inspires something in me. I was living my life, we go out tonight, there's the crowd, boom, who's that? Oh, I feel something. Ooh, if I approach her, it's gonna be, there we go, practice. What are we practicing, game? Maybe, game of life for me, okay? Okay, what is this that God created inside of me? Why is it suddenly my heart's beating faster and I'm worried and now I'll, I can just think about her the whole night? What is this, what spell just cast on me? I'm going to take this opportunity to get rid of whatever's inside of me that's making the moment uncomfortable for me because that's weird. So my approach to her, my, my real intention is that she will serve that in the future time when I come across a woman like that, I won't have that level of reaction. Why? Because I've worked on myself. So that's what she's going to do for me. Now, if I get her by the end of the night, get her, meaning get her number, make out with her, fuck her, Whatever your goal is, right? Then that's great. It's a bonus. It's a lot of bonuses that happen. But the main, the main practice is me just walking up to her and talking to her. Why? Because I'm an introvert and I, when I look inside, introverted attention, when I look inside, she created a turbulence inside of me that took me out of present time, made me worried, I started to sweat. Basically, I felt like I was under attack. <laughs> right? So I don't want to not be an introvert. <clears throat> I love being an introvert. I think it's a great idea to be an introvert. I think the idea of an introvert and an extrovert is an idea put together by a bunch of people who don't understand anything about life or energy. I think if you understand that those two words don't exist in my world, then you can see why I can fuck around with the world. I mean, with the word and the world, same thing, right? <laughs> this is why. That doesn't process that you're an introvert. It means nothing. It doesn't register in my head because introvert is cool, okay? Well, well, well I mean, I'm just, I'm kind of nervous about like talking to people. I got that, but that, you're not an introvert, okay? That's, that's like a weird label that will now put you in a weird category that you're trying to overcome. <laughs> it's like, you're not gay, but you're labeled gay. And you spend the rest of your life trying to prove you're not gay, but you were never gay. It was just a label someone threw at you because they thought you were gay. Right now, you see you're an introvert until you see yourself speak to someone you feel comfortable with or talk about a subject you like or you're just in your flow and at that moment you're not an introvert but you become an introvert when a woman shows up. Mm -hmm. No, you just lack the ability and the skills to handle her. If I saw a tiger, a real life tiger, I would introvert like a Right? Okay? <laughs> Why? Because I have no idea how to handle a tiger. Okay? Now, if I had a, a shotgun in my hand, I wouldn't introvert so much, I'd extrovert a little bit more. I, I have an ability. If I was instead of a tank, I would chase the tiger. And I wouldn't worry about me so much. So all that means is when the environment is threatening, I go inside and I don't know how to act. Okay? But if I have the tools to handle my environment, then I get, what, more comfortable. So it's not about being an introvert or an extrovert, it's about becoming comfortable in conversation. Okay? One of the keys in getting women, in getting sales, in being a good teacher, in being a good student, is comfort of conversation. 
It should be obvious, as I'm talking, that I'm very comfortable. It's something that can't be faked. Mm -hmm. But it puts the audience in comfort too. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. So what you're experiencing right now is similar to what a woman would experience versus, let me explain to you, versus anybody else that stands here and talks. When I talk, there's an ease. It's just, I know. I know there's an ease. Now, if I stand here, and we've done it before with four or five people talking, and everybody gets to talk, at the same time questions are asked, in a very short amount of time you would realize how comfortable I really am. Because then you can compare it in present time with somebody. This is what happens with her when you approach her. This is what happens to the customer when you approach the customer and you're comfortable while the other salesperson is uncomfortable because he needs the sale. That person has been approached many times and you walk up and your level of comfort is different. And they immediately go more at ease with you. But what are we comfortable in? I am comfortable not in picking her up. Well, yes, I am, but that's skill earned, right? First, that step earlier. I am comfortable in conversation with another human being. That's the first step to get good at this thing. With who? Well, with you, 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 you. It should be com I should be comfortable having a conversation with a human being. If I'm not comfortable having a conversation with a human being, now we're increasing the odds by making her super haughty. And then we put her in an environment that she's been approached by a bunch of guys. So basically we start with, I'm not good at approaching people and talking, having regular conversation with regular people that don't trigger that in me. Now she's a 10. Now she's in a Well, okay. Like, you don't have to be too smart to figure this out. You're going to fail. Okay? I don't like my students failing. I hate my students failing. I, okay, I hate rejection. The reason why I'm so good at this art is rejection bothers me probably more than it bothers you. You might be okay getting rejected. You want to open 10, 10 girls and you're okay getting rejected nine times. I want to talk to 10 girls and get rejected zero times. <laughs> because that one time they reject me, upsets the out of me. Right? So I've figured out a way to approach I figure out a way to talk, figure out a way to continue all the way from zero to a relationship to give me your soul. And that's what happens in my life. All done in a way that allows the least level of resistance anywhere. This is the art, the art of seduction that I teach is the art of no resistance. Zero resistance. But it starts inside of you first. Okay? So you think that you're starting at, well, she's resisting my communication. No, you, you resisted the approach before you even went. You, 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 just, you lost contact with the energy and you changed right before you walked up. You tensed and you had suddenly, if there was electricity flowing through your body, and it is, if you had an aura and you do, if you had uh, meridians or any tradition, chakras, you pick it. Energy in the body, around the body, okay? Cool, you can feel it, right? So, as you approached, you constricted and tightened the energy around you. Energy-wise, you're connected to people. She felt the constriction, she resisted your communication, but you already approached tight. Now, you approach loose, there's no resistance in you, or very little, and you start your conversation, whatever you say. She resists, <clears throat> I, she, I need to expect that. Why? Because I'm the one in control here. I'm not putting it in her hands, I'm putting it in my hands, so she can resist, I'm prepared. Okay? Before I go hang out with a girlfriend of mine, if I'm smart, if I remember, I imagine me and, up, me and them out, and I tell myself, there's nothing she can do to upset me today. When I do that, I have the best time with them. Mm -hmm. When I miss that, something small can turn into a, a stupid argument. But I literally have to tell myself, this person can't upset me today. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tolerate the they're going to break up. Why? Because do I really want to break up over some stupid argument? Because it's happened before. So I better be sharp. I better be sharp, right? So before you approach a stranger, you have to allow them to reject you even though you don't like rejection. So I don't like to be rejected. What do I do? Well, the question is, what is being rejected? Right? If we're in line and I say to you, you want to go first? And I say to her, would you like to go first? And she says, no, thank you. That's a rejection of my offer. Okay? But look at how socially acceptable that is. I can shrug it off. Okay, cool. Boom. Mm -hmm. But, in the same scenario, if I go like this, you are so beautiful, I would do anything to get with you. Is there any way I can get your number, maybe go out with you later, you know, just have a coffee or a drink or something? No, I have a boyfriend. Everyone now watches. That's also a rejection. But now, watch what I have to do after this. Are you sure? Okay, good. 
Okay, well, you're really pretty. Ooh, it's awkward for everyone. Both are rejections. So I just bring it down to the most mild rejection that's acceptable in that environment at that time. And that's in context, depending where you are, what you're doing. So you're at the bookstore. Okay? You walk by. Boom, there she is. Look at the section. Don't walk by and then do this. You saw her, that's cool. Remember, that's the area. Walk around. If you caught eye of it, it's very easy. Walk to the front. Excuse me, where's your section on relationships? It's over there. Would you mind taking me there? Start walking, start conversation with this person who's taking you there. How's your night tonight? Good. Oh yeah, it's good. Da, 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 da. Do people still come to bookstores? Yeah, we're in conversation as we enter the area. She'll look up. As I'm not there for her, this person's bringing me, we're already in conversation. My voice tells her how comfortable I am, because I'll be talking normal. Okay? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. The guy says something good. It's right here. Great. Thank you very much. Now I'm facing what she's facing, and I've been brought there. This is game. This is why if you're intelligent, you could be the best. And if you're an idiot, you can't. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, then share it. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Also, if you press the subscribe button and also the notifications button, then whenever I make a new video or a new video uploads, then you get a notification that tells you a new video has come up. Can I recommend you do that? Remember what my teacher Manu Tupo said, be the best and fuck the rest. We are IMC Nation. Loyalty is royalty. I'll see you in the next video.